Hello there everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and today I just wanted to share my experience with this Kosas Wet Lip Oil Gloss. So this is something I wanted so badly, so, so badly. And I would look at it on Sephora's website all the time. They didn't have this in store so I couldn't see it there, but there was something about the way it looked, the name of it, the little models pictures of their lips. I was like, I want that so badly. And, but I would never buy it. I was like, I don't need that. I have the Fenty glosses, which I love and just other lip stuff that I enjoy. But I finally bought it, obviously. And I'm gonna share with you just what I think about it. Did it live up to all the hype that I build up in my own head? Um, so what it says, so it's from this brand called Kosas. It says it is a hybrid lip treatment and gloss that plumps, hydrates, and repairs with a slick of color. I got the shade called Jellyfish because it was the most translucent. And it says paint your lips freely. Uh, that's about it, is what it looks like. Packaging, not what I expected. So I pulled this out of the packaging and like, look at it. It's so cool. It is like a hard acrylic plastic with this really cool plastic lid, almost like too big. And then when you pull it out, oh my God, what am I doing? It pulls out the exact amount for your lips. And it's on this like flat, um, slightly bent, oh, you cannot see it, maybe. Slightly bent, um, paddly doe foot applicator. It's very smooth. And the applicator, it bends just a tiny bit so you can kind of get it all over. Very, very soft as well. The scent is awesome. It smells like orange dreamsicle popsicles, like the, the orange with the ice cream inside. Oh my God, it smells so good, but not in a sickly sweet smell. And it's also not that kind of taste that gets inside of your mouth. I mean, you can kind of taste it or taste it by smelling it, something like that. So you can kind of get it in your mouth a little bit, but it's not that kind that's gonna be like disgusting. You know, it's actually very, very nice. The only thing with this package, so look how much product is in here. You know, I have, I've used this, I don't know, for about three days or so, and this is what it looks like. I didn't realize, you know, when you do have the pump, the thing in there, it looks a lot more full. This is a, a gloss that it's not oily at all. So even though it says lip oil gloss, I don't feel any oil. It's not oily in the least bit. It is on the thicker side, but not so thick that it doesn't spread around. It goes onto my bare lips very, very easily, which I don't find with a lot of glosses. Sometimes they kind of drag. This one does not drag whatsoever. It spreads really, really nicely. It doesn't have a lot of lasting power because it isn't sticky whatsoever. And I do find that stickier glosses do last a little longer and that kind of gives them a little bit of longevity. This doesn't have that. If you're not even eating or drinking, just talking and living within about an hour, maybe half an hour. I don't know, you gotta put some more on if you want more on. I have worn this many times on my bare lips and it doesn't irritate whatsoever. There are a lot of glosses out there or just lip products in general that I feel like I immediately need to wipe them off because they just, they irritate, like they feel like a little bit of like burning a little bit. Um, this doesn't do that at all. And it does say repairs, uh, hydrates, plumps and repairs. I think the plumping part is just because of the gloss, like having gloss in your lips naturally makes them look bigger, I guess. But it doesn't sting or anything like that or tingle how a lot of plumping uh, lip products do. Hydrates, yeah, they feel really nice. They don't feel irritated whatsoever. As far as repairing, my lips weren't too in bad condition at, uh, to begin with, so I can't really speak to them being repaired at all. This is a very, very comfortable gloss. I love the formula a lot. I think I'm going to fly through this thing though, just because of how often I feel the need to reapply. I mean, when it comes to stuff like this, you don't have to reapply it. It's just a joy to reapply it because the applicator is just so nice. The exact perfect amount comes out of here and it's, it's perfect. This is like a perfect little thing that they have created here, a formula that is wonderful. I haven't tried any of the other colors. I'm just not interested in color on my lips, but this one called Jellyfish, I am loving it. Totally, totally lives up to the hype that I created in my own head. And I'm really glad I bought it. If you have tried this, let me know what you think because I think it is uh, um, two thumbs up. It's awesome. That's it. I just wanted to talk about this gloss because I just thought 
the hype in my head it cannot live up to and it has in every way I love it thank you for watching this video I really appreciate it let me know if you've tried other things from that brand Kosas Ooh, because I bought this thing from them color and light pressed powder blush and highlighter and I don't like it that much but let me know if you have tried other things from them that are really good because this brand is kind of cool and I want to in investigate a little bit uh, that's it thanks for watching this quick little video and I will see you later in another one goodbye